when you connect uh, things, you need a mobile network to connect um, those things. And so, uh, as you could see, I asked many of our speakers, but why don't I have a 3G chip in it? Most of them answer it's, it's eating too much battery or it's too expensive. So, uh, our next speaker, Ludovic Lemoyne, <laughs> I can say his name very well, from Sigfox is going to talk about um, an Internet of Things network. Bienvenue. Thanks to invite me today on the web. So, um, my name is Ludovic Lemoyne. During these days in at the web, uh, we saw a lot of uh, uh, presentations dealing with connected objects. Most of them uh, use existing wireless technology. Sometimes try to tweak them, like uh, we heard about uh, uh, the Kubuchi uh, right now is working with uh, Wi-Fi communication for low throughput needs. But what I'm going to tell you about today, it's um, a new network based on a new tech, brand new technology. So when I usually talk about Sigfox, when I present Sigfox, I always get an answer that, whoa, it's too good to be true. But that story that I'm going to, to tell you, it's uh, amazing, but it's uh, really true. So that you can imagine today that we can be an operator with a few million euros investment on be a, a countrywide operator. So around us, there are many objects, uh, not, not at only at home, but uh, outside in the countryside, and uh, even in, in an enterprise. Uh, today, these objects are, are mostly deaf and dumb, but there are, there are billions of them which are waiting for, for talking with the uh, with Internet. Um, objects. Uh, need to be connected to the, to the social network to, to action between our uh, daily life for different purposes, for big data. You can, if you merge a lot of uh, data coming from uh, uh, Internet of Things, um, the things we, um, we, have, we will be able to, to prevent some uh, disasters, uh, gathering a million of objects to and, uh, make some correlation with, between them and maybe to, pre to prevent uh, some uh, disasters, and all that object today uh, needs to be uh, efficiently connected. And um, what we have today, it's, uh, I would say, two, two categories of, uh, of wireless technology. One is uh, it's short range, so it means that uh, it only covers a few hundred meters. And the other one is uh, based on satellite or GSM that uh, are, I would say, uh, Countrywide or worldwide coverage, but uh, both of them are too energy consuming or too expensive that to target the challenge of the, of the Internet of Things. Why we are talking about connecting billions of objects, if you uh, are able to win uh, some milliwatt per object at the end of the day, when we will have billions of objects, it's megawatt you will uh, win at the end. So, it's a b very big challenge to, to find a way to optimize that, uh, that such, ne such a network. So, uh, Sigfox in, uh, in 2011, we start from a blank page with a specification for a brand new network. We talk about how we can provide, what will be the, a good specification for an Internet of Things network. So, we have, I would say, four uh, main specifications. This network must be a low cost network. It must be also low, cost, low energy consumption, long range, and easy of use. So after some year men of uh, research and development, we reached this goal. We reach, uh, we, to do, today we can claim that we have found, I will say, the best solution to connect objects to Internet. Have, we have a very, very uh, aggressive uh, value propositions because uh, targeting the, the, the autonomy, we are able to uh, connect uh, objects for many years, like uh, 20 years for meters, uh, long range because we are talking about tens of kilometers. Our record is uh, 400 kilometers between the Pyrenees and the, and the town of uh, Poitiers in the, south, in the center of France. Um, so it, and, uh, regarding the, the easy of use, for us, each object has an internet address or URL 
that uh, allow us to, to gather different uh, information coming from our network directly to the IT system of, the, of our customers or di directly to the web for uh, different purposes. So um, we also use uh, an optimized technology that allows us to manage existing chipsets uh, built today by companies like uh, TI, Silicon Labs, or Semtech. These uh, chipsets are, are manufactured by, by millions, so the price is around, uh, we say, one, one dollar. So this chipset will be uh, useful for, to integrate your object to our network. And uh, as our network is uh, not very expensive to deploy, we can have a subscription fee, a yearly fee, under one dollar per object per year. Um, with Sigfox, we enable a, a, a wide range of, uh, of partners. Uh, this ecosystem is built by, by uh, hardware manufacturers. They can provide new, new devices connected to our network. Integrators will, can, will answer to requests for proposal with new offer because uh, for metering aspect, for example, we provide the best way to connect uh, meters. And also for solution providers with Sigfox, we can invent new solution, new, uh, new application because we can bundle communication inside the product for life and uh, find a way to have a, a uh, new application that very, at a very good price, uh, this price will be acceptable by, by the market. So what I'm going to, to show you today is, uh, is this product has been launched uh, by a main insurance company in France called MAF. Uh, this product uh, is connected directly to our network. So what I'm going to do now is to push on the bottom so you will hear uh, a noise. Oh, sorry for the, for the noise. So the information is coming. So the web is on fire. So you will see in the, uh, that uh, we're using um, Twitter. Yes, the, the message has been uh, sent to um, to the Twitter. So this this uh, information has uh, gone through our network to our cloud on, uh, for this demonstration. We choose to send the information to Twitter, but uh, usually it's sent to a call center for, for a fire, fire um, guy who manages the, the information. So coming back to the presentation. So with Sigfox, we have, uh, I would say, a thousand times difference between existing technology regarding the number of antenna to cover a country. For example, to cover the France, we only need 1,000 antenna. We, we use milliwatt power to, to make the communication between objects on the network. We also uh, leverage millions of applications because uh, it's so easy to integrate uh, information coming from our network. We have a lot of partners, that guys who developed uh, Solution like we have seen uh, right now with Kobochi or the one. So it's so today we uh, we fasten we accelerate sorry the the way we can uh, connect object to to the network. So um, one network for one billion dreams means that with few hundred million euros you are able to connect um, to to cover sorry the the the, um, the world except oceans. So it's, very, it's not very expensive to have a complete network covering uh, uh, every part of the, uh, of the globe um, with a very low price chipset, low, very low price offer. So it, um, this rolling out will be done during the coming years, but right now we have uh, covered the, the French country. So we have a 100% coverage um, of the France, and we are rolling out in, in Europe. Um, on this branch, you see the bird and the butterfly, thinking big, sending for short message, and uh, I think for, for Sigfox is, is the same thing that we are we, we are managing short message for uh, for big uh, I would say for big purposes. So today I'm proud to to announce that Sigfox is a I would say a disruptive technology, disruptive network, which uh, change uh, the rule of the of the Internet of Things. On tomorrow, I think we we'll have a billion of objects creating through that network because I think it was the the best uh, way to make this uh, dream of the Internet of Things 
uh, a reality. Thank you.